Right. This is me out in the woods. And this is a quick video of the stars. So that should be yeah, that's pretty much set to infinity like. Yeah. And if everybody says that the D one twenty eight's got a shit glass, it hasn't. That's not too bad. That's very bright into a planet. Probably. Yeah. I don't know if my little mini laser will overwash the Gen 3. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. I won't know until after I watch the recording. But I know my other two do uh, that one, I think, which is that one there. That one always. Let's see the pulse on that one. <laughs> that one always sort of uh, causes it to wash out. And of course, my handheld one. Yeah, well, that one always causes it to. Yeah, yeah that one always causes it to work out. Probably won't see much on the video. My lasers were always okay when I had my Gen 2 Plus because it had auto gating, but this tube doesn't have auto gating, so it normally really screws with the the view when I recorded it. Well, anyway, let's see. Well, I can hear a plane. Must be playing somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, right. Well. Focus on it a bit better. So, anyway, that's the star view. Oh. Try and focus on it a bit better. Yeah, it always, I mean, it doesn't help with the view, but it does help focus the lens. I'll put the IR on. So yeah. Anyway, that is the starlight view. Uh, on my well, it's not a dipole. It's a uh, cobra optics demon, but it's pretty much exactly the same as the uh, dipole D128.